Hello everyone, uh, Snipe Trading here. Today is Thursday, March 21st. I'll be going over a, a live recap for today. So today uh, I, I was watching CFMS and SCON uh, and I traded those two for a total of $108 profit. Um, so uh, on my website here, I have uh, CFMS. That was my only watch list that I had and I wanted, uh, I saw this pair uh, extended move here and I want to open uh, parabolic and ideally short towards the four area so let's watch the uh, live recording for today and I'll go over my thought process uh, each way so here's the open in 931 uh, it's sped up um, so I saw it uh, failing this uh, support area so I started short there so I ended up with 227 shares um, and this 281 was holding as resistance here, as you can see. Um, so it ended up washing a little. I was up like thirty dollars, um, but I didn't take any. I was, I was, uh, I was wanting a 253 um, target. So I end up. Uh, adding more to this short with my risk off. So my initial short here was a, a, a risk off of $3. Uh, while this short here, uh, I wanted to risk off 281. Um, so you'll see it actually end up popping through and I didn't end up stopping out. Um, and then you can see I was uh, down $40 then. Um, I end up adding a little more here on this pop um, and then I wanted to um, see if it can crack this 273 area uh, with where I placed. So it actually had a double bottom here. So you can see I, at, I actually scaled out half my shares, downsize it, downsize right there. Um, just so I can manage my risk a little better. Um, and then I end up uh, re-adding the short um, when it kind of fell to pop over. Uh, and it end up just consolidating and popping back over. So I end up rescaling it out. So I, I end up over trading a little bit here, but uh, I was scaling in and out um, to manage my share size. Um, and Recently, I've been really diligent on my share size, and I try to scale up uh, today, um, just because I thought I was more confident, but I think it actually punished me um, towards the end of the day. So here you can see I almost have a $100 real ice loss, um, but uh, I think I end up reshorting here, um, and and then it popped up, and I was watching it, if it was gonna hold this previous uh, break above the previous high, um, and it didn't. So that was my 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 final stop. Um, then end up failing. Um, I have an order out, or I was gonna put an order out right there at two seventy. So I got fill. Um, eventually, I wanted to get uh, a little more fill, a little more than I should have, um, which would reduce my uh, emotions a bit. Um, but what eventually happened was it it popped right back uh, up over. So let's see. Let me fast forward this. Okay, so it ended up popping over here. Um, I drew this line and it, it kind of held the line and held this downtrend line. Um, so when it popped down and then it break this 270 mark, or it popped down here, I could have taken some profits, or I wanted to take some profit 263, and I think it. It didn't reach there, um, 
So I end up taking it off here, um, pretty much flat on that trade, $13 winner, but I'm uh, still disappointed, but uh, at the end of the day, I think this washed down to 240s, 250s, um, which was disappointing because I stopped pretty much at the top part um, after that consolidation. So my next trade was gone, so this was hard to borrow, so I located some shares, um, uh, SCON. So you can see here, it's, um, I'm actually CFMS, so yeah, so I was kind of bummed out. It kind of washed out after I stopped out, um, but nonetheless, uh, it was just a break even trade. Um, could have been worse. So I saw SCON here failing so I went to short scan because you can see high of day here. It broke slightly above high of day there and it kind of fell. Uh, it kind of broke a uh, high of day here and then it got swashed out. So I felt uh, it was a little weak and when it's grinding up here, I was seeing how it reacts if it would um, go break above this high of day. Um, but it, it kind of fell um, based on the level two. And I started short, a uh, very small size, 100 shares, um, 100 shares there. And then when I saw the confirmation, um, when it popped back up here and it failed again, I re-added. So I have a 246 uh, average with 300 shares. And it kind of washed down. Um, I st I'm still holding it. I, I, I want it to reshort some pops above this so i was hoping it to have uh, the prior support or prior support as resistance so i end up uh adding more shorts there um then i got uh, some partial fills so i just left it there i think at 240 so i'm on there at 240 waiting to get fill I got filled, so I'm short, pretty much in the end, I'm short 600 shares at 243. So 600 shares short there. Um, and I saw it's it's building this uh, cup and handle. And when it popped up here, it kind of fell, uh, fell a bit. Or, yeah, so my initial risk for this 243 was 250. So I actually downsized here at 250. Um, and then my, my rest stop was 260. So I downsized to half half size, so 300 shares, um, just to manage my risk a bit. Um, I saw this uh, upward trend here, um, trying to fail. So I re-added my 300 shares back there. So I'm, I'm back at 600 shares at 244. Um, it cracked. Um, I put an order out at 225 uh, for my first target. Um, it washed down, it got some. I uh, actually reshorted here at 232. Um, I'm putting some more orders out, 212 is my next target. So I'm taking profit along the way here. Uh, it popped up my order, so up realized 127, and then I have 150 shares left or so. Uh, and I took out the rest there at 207 or so. Um, and then I think this stock just uh, trended sideways here um, and kind of popped a little back up and then it cracked um, towards like 170s um, towards the end of the day. So those are my two trades for today. Um, so CFMS. So you can see here, that's where I stopped out for uh, my, the rest of my shares were flat and it ended up just rolling over right after. So it's kind of bummed out and I was really short bias. I was hoping for a gap up um, per my watch list and fade back down. And it, it was as planned, but I think I went a little bit too much. If I had taken it off uh, my profit share here a little bit more, I would have probably held this a lot more comfortable, um, but I stopped out and kind of, yeah, uh, with my way just right afterwards. Um, it's gone, so 
Yep, afterwards it consolidated around here, the bearish flag, and then it cracked. So that was that. So I hope you enjoy the, that live trading footage and hopefully you gain some insight of my thought process and hopefully it improves um, any, anyone that's willing to learn to day trade. Um, and you can always start small and scale up uh, anytime you feel comfortable. And it's not about how big your win is, it's about how much you're willing to lose. So if you're willing to take, you know, a $50 loss um, when you're this size of account, you can always scale up to, okay, I'm willing to take a $100 loss, you know, as long as you have your risk reward. So I think my risk reward trade was, uh, my average was 245-ish. My risk was like 15 cents and this is my reward. So you can see that I have an almost, you know, uh, more more than a two to one ratio, right? So, yeah. So as always, guys, um, thanks for watching. Um, don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. Thank you. Bye.